This is SAT test 2, calculator question number 36, dealing with a point O in the center of a circle, two line segments that are tangent to the circle LM and LN. And the question is that the circumference of the entire circle is 96, what's the length of the minor arc LN? In this case, if I can find angle LON, in degrees, that over 360 is the fraction of the circle taken up by this arc, and that should equal the length we're looking for over the entire circumference, 96, of the circle. So let's see if we can find that angle. We know that at the angle at intersection M is 60 degrees, and we know that the tangent to a circle makes a 90 degree angle with the radius of the circle. And if you extend the tangent line, you'll see that the angle on one side is equal to the angle on the other side. The tangent line makes the same angle on both sides of the tangent point with the radius of the circle. So it makes sense that that would be a 90 degree angle. Plus, they don't say that this picture is not to scale, so you can assume it's to scale and it looks like 90, which makes it believable that it would be what you expect it to be. So I have a quadrilateral here, and the angles of a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees, and we know that there's 90 plus 90 plus 60 plus this angle, which I'm going to call x. Right here, I don't want to call that x because I already have an x. Let's call it y. So 90 and 90 is 180 plus 60 is 240 equals 360, 240 plus y equals 360, minus 240, angle y equals 120. So that gives us over here, 120 over 360 equals x over 96, 120 over 360 is one third. If I multiply both sides by 96, I get 96 times 1 third equals x. I can check that on my calculator, or perhaps do it without the calculator, and get 32 equals x. And it makes sense visually that the entire circumference is 96. This would be 32, and the rest of it would be 64. That looks roughly proportionate, and this is to scale. So that would give us the length of the minor arc LN, which is what they asked for here. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.